pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios entera con libertad y justicia para todos. I love science. When we look outward, when we understand the planets, when we go out into the universe, we're really still trying to look back at ourselves and say, how does our planet work? The Earth is a water planet with oceans covering more than two thirds of its surface. The Pacific is the largest and deepest. For NASA, the oceans, like the ice sheets, provide essential insight into our planet's well-being. NASA's Earth Science Program has played a key role in understanding what the health of the oceans is. We know that coral reefs are a critical part of the ocean ecosystem. A lot of people think, well, coral reefs are pretty and brightly colored tropical fish live around them. But they really are the canary in the coal mine as far as the oceans are concerned. NASA's Coral Reef Airborne Laboratory monitors coral from Australia to Palau to the Hawaiian Islands. It's the last day of the Hawaii campaign. Uh, we'll have 11 a.m. go, no, go call. So we're going to do a site here, and then we'll scoot over there. We also have to do on the back reef, the coral rich areas, right? Right. The coral mission relies on the portable remote imaging spectrometer, or PRISM. PRISM is an instrument that sees 200 colors, RIC3. We fly at 28,000 feet over a reef. We're gathering data on reef condition and feeding that information into a computer. The oceans are also being studied from NASA's Earth orbiting satellite systems. NASA is the only agency that designs and builds and flies the satellites, and then we share the data with the world. Really, if you want to get precision in terms of your scientific measurements, you need to fly in the air and then get the satellite data, and then you need people on the ground. We have teams that go in the water to validate the airborne data. Coral reefs respond quickly and dramatically to changing environmental conditions. When corals become stressed, it looks like somebody poured bleach on them. The coral reefs are bleaching and dying. In 2016, just in one year, we lost 30% of the world's corals. This is primarily caused by temperature rise. The oceans are really heating up. The water is getting warmer and warmer. Part of our mission to study this planet is to understand why. For lunch today, we have a toasted cheese sandwich, toasted turkey and cheese sandwich, a Cobb chef salad, a stacker box lunch, 
vegetarian baked beans, celery sticks, ranch dressing, assorted fresh fruit, and a choice of milk.